Hello, everybody, and welcome to I'm Right, You're Wrong. I'm talking in a low voice today because, as you know, Halloween was last week. So, I mean, no, I'm not that scary in general. I mean, look at me. Uh, <laughs> I'm joined by KL Eichels, am I right? Darn. <laughs> Good intro. And Cam Ward on my left. Oboe connoisseur, New Hampshire, and all that. I don't know. What aren't you a connoisseur of, Cam? Uh, True. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Today we're going to be discussing Halloween movies because as Halloween was last weekend, we know that the best part of Halloween is getting scared pantless by movies, especially scary movies. Or they don't have to be scary. They can just be fun Halloween movies. So let's just talk about it, guys. Let's figure out who is right and who is wrong. What is the best movie to watch on Halloween night? Kim, why don't you start? So, I'm going to put the stance upon the movie The Shining. Not only is this a classic, but it is also award-winning. So, to give you guys a general plotline summation, this family is invited to do, to sort of take care of a hotel in the middle of a winter, um, where it involves a dad, a mom, and a little kid. So things start to get really crazy in the hotel, spirits start to, yeah, like, cray-cray. Like, <laughs> Creighton Ward Cray Cray. <laughs> um, anyways, so um, back to my main thing. Uh, they're in the hotel, things start to go crazy, and the dad starts, the kid, get, the kid actually first starts to become possessed by spirits, and they realize that the hotel is not as nice as it seems, and they're all isolated up nice. in this, yeah, <laughs> isolated because they get stuck in a snowstorm. Um, in the hotel by themselves. And then the dad starts to go crazy as well, he becomes obsessed with his job and starts freaking out. And then the demons or and or spirits in the movie start to take him over and really like, he starts to like become a murderer, a literal ax murderer. Uh -huh. um, yeah, anyways, if you watch the movie, you'll think I'm hilarious, I swear. That or you'll hate me. Um, <laughs> so my main point being is that I believe that Halloween is a time to Although it is fun to do like trick or treat, it is a time and is an American tradition to be scared because it was a tradition to, um, like witches were a huge staple of Halloween, especially in the Salem witch trials. So people were legitimately scared of that. So Halloween movies need to be scary, my first point being. Second point, it's award winning, it's an amazing movie, it's really a must see. Third, um, it has uh, amazing lines that everyone knows, like, Honey, I'm home, or Jack, John, Johnny, play it in work, no work, play, I'm messing up the quotes, I'm not making like my okay. point at all. Anyways, continued <laughs> to Kayla's point because I'm not. <laughs> Kayla, why don't you give us an opening? Alrighty, I, Kayla, will be arguing Twitches, a great movie about <laughs> twin witches. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so if you don't know the movie, it's with Tia and Tamara and they're twins who are separated at birth. No. One goes to a rich family and one goes to a poor family. And then they find each other one day. And it's like, what? And they're twins. But then, wait a second, they find out they're witches. And then, <laughs> actually, <laughs> I don't really remember what happens after that. But <laughs> it's just a fun time all around. So, <laughs> I think for Halloween, some people don't like the scary stuff, and it's fun to have like a nice Disney Channel original movie to watch, like Halloween Town, but it's like a little different because it's like a twist. Because I feel like everyone's <laughs> watched Halloween Town like on repeat, so it's nice to have a twi Twitches come in and be like, "Hey, here's a new one," <laughs> and I'd say it's a classic. It's like so fun to watch, just like sister love. And then they save the world together with their funny comrades. Okay. So we've got two very distinct <laughs> here. Uh, can you guys put down the other one a little bit? Put down the what? Put down the Your other opponent. one? opponent. Oh, okay. I totally got that. Um, <laughs> so Twitches, firstly, the acting is, might I say, unique <laughs> in its quality. <laughs> Um, it is a Disney original movie, so we can't suspect any better. Even though True. there are some amazing Disney ori original Disney movies, the acting in Twitches is, might I say, so good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, if you consider like other Disney ori original channel movies, 
all of the acting is so good. Like, <laughs> it's all pretty bad, but they're great movies because they're just fun and everyone's seen them, so you can talk about them and be like, oh my gosh, remember that one time when Twitches happened? And they're like, what? Yeah! <laughs> and then it starts a great conversation. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, so bad acting, sometimes good. <laughs> Usually good. Usually good. Maybe, but when we're thinking about Halloween, do we want to be scared by how bad the acting is, or...? <laughs> That acting was so good that it was scary. <laughs> <laughs> All right, another point that I want to make about The Shining is that it is an extremely original plot, and no other movie has really come along that. We see <laughs> twins being separated at birth, aka separated uh, at birth. Uh, birth. That came after, and also they're witches also. <laughs> so I mean, it's, it gets of crazy. Such a twist. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> it, oh, it's, it's a huge twist. <laughs> <laughs> but The Shining, you have to see, is much more complex in its plot line. It's much more enjoyable to the intellectual mind. No, I'm just <laughs> I'm not going to go upon that tangent again. But um, if you check out the other video, because you should watch all these videos, they're really good. Um, anyways, I wanted to say that people can get a more enjoyable sensation. Also, the ending, I feel, is much better in The Shining. I don't want to ruin it for those who have not seen it, but the ending is much more um, conclusive and better feeling to the viewer than of Twitches, because it is a cliche, corny ending. But it's super cute and fun, which is what you want sometimes. Yeah, especially if it's added with a really cute, classy sequel. Yes, it is Twitches a cute. Two. Yeah, Spelled Twitches Two is scary. I was afraid, like <laughs> Santos or Santos. I don't even know the guy's name. He's so creepy, and I couldn't figure out his name for the entire time. <laughs> yeah, it's no, just creepy. One of the scariest things is not like not knowing how to say someone's name. Like me introing Kayala, that's the scariest part of the episode. <laughs> I know her full name, Kayala Nona. Got it wrong. I got it wrong? No. Oh, yeah. Were like, you no. scared? I was scared. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. So I think there, there's a, another distinguishment between the age of the viewership True. of each of these two movies. So, mm -hmm. uh, real quick, give me the age, and then we're going to move into closing arguments. All right. So, Twitches is family friendly, more younger audience. Is that good or bad? Is that I think that's a good thing? good thing. Like, I'd probably watch it now and have a good so time. So that makes it a better Halloween movie? Yeah. It's just fun. You can do other stuff while you're watching it, and you don't have to be afraid when you go to bed. True. It's a All nice right. feeling. <laughs> well, the age group is much vaster, although I agree with your point. The age group is much vaster in The Shining, I feel like, from the age of... Four, mm, 16, I'll say. There's some pretty explicit yeah. stuff in there. <laughs> From like 16 or 18 legally, I should, or 17 legally, I should say. But 16 upwards <coughs> is a good viewing age, unless you're like 80 and you'll die from a cardiac arrest. So <laughs> don't let that happen. <laughs> all right, all right, let's move into closing, guys. Why is your movie the best movie to watch on Halloween night, October 31st? Ooh. Uh, Kelly, you're going to close for spooky. Twitches is clearly the best movie to watch on Halloween night because you can enjoy it with your friends or with yourself and have a great time without worrying about any axe murderers coming to get you while you're sleeping. <laughs> you can tell right. KL is enjoyed it by herself. Yeah, yeah. I can tell. She <laughs> sat there and just went like, oh, this is such a nice and Halloween I, movie. And then meanwhile, I'm sitting at my house going, oh god, there's somebody in my basement. I need the lights on. All right. <laughs> okay, let's hear a closing. All right, so my main aspect that I want to stick through to the end with is that Halloween is when we're supposed to be scared <gasps> Poopless, um, <laughs> for lack of better words and censorship. Um, uh -huh. Halloween is, yeah, get it, get it, okay. I figured it out. Anyways, um, you're supposed to be scared during Halloween, I think. Although fun Halloween movies exist, I feel like Halloween wouldn't be the same without having that scare in your life and that ability to really feel like someone's watching you out there. Somebody's watching me. Jack Nicholson is watching you. Yeah. And you, at home. While you're watching us. We're watching you. Watching us. Look in the description below and voting for who the winner is. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Remember to vote for who the winner is and come back next time for KL and Cam's final argument. And check out the potato one if you didn't see that one yet. It's pretty spiffy. <laughs> it's pretty 
mashing. It's it's, it's mashing Leo. It's the monster mash <laughs> Halloween. All right. Hashtag. Come back cool. next time. <laughs> Later, guys. Thank you very much. Hi, guys. Oh.